What is up, my Thick and Bricks family? It's Dr. Lucky bringing you haul video number 24. Guys, as of right now, uh, currently, I'm teetering, going back and forth between 360, 396 and 397 subscribers. It's been kind of going back and forth the last couple days. So I'm between four, three and four subscribers away from that magic number of 400 and owing you guys another contest, another prize. Um, I'm hoping to get it done this weekend, so hopefully I can grab three or four subscribers within the next couple days here, um, hopefully some off this video. Um, as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. And um, so let's get on with the haul. Actually, let's first do some introductions here. Let's get a first th run through my introductions as normal here. Um, starting in the back row there, we have Sid Brixius, um, Bricks in Hollywood. Uh, that is a full man. We have YM Perry 94 Guys, YM Perry 94 did an amazing uh, first ever live stream the other day, so hopefully you guys caught it. If you didn't, it's I know it's out there, so you guys may want to catch that and look that up uh, on YouTube. It was awesome, so he did a really good job. So congrats to my buddy, YM Perry 94 um, Lego 360 Official. I see you guys can see in the back, there's the uh, tribute figure to the Ultimate Warrior. We have um, in the back there, Mighty Grawman 23 Destination Lego. We have Lego Hobbit, uh, Childish Revolt 88 Brick Designs, A Full Man, Everything Lego. That is Elliot Bricks. Um, new addition to the uh, Sig Fig family is Lego Jinja, I believe that is. She's on Instagram, Lego Jinja. It's G-I-N-J-A, so hopefully I got that right. Uh, Darth Hall, there's Brick Stackers, Brickmaster Inc., Brick Adjuster, Bricks for Chris. There is um, Bubba Bricks. We have Kellen. There is Clutch from Bricks on the Dollar, Brick Czar, Dr. Lucky, Dr. Lucky's wife, Devin Sigvig, and Capital Bricks. And you notice Capital Bricks now has his staff, so he's a complete Sigfig now. So that's it, guys. The bartender's back there, as always, serving up the drinks. And in case anybody wants some Starbucks coffee, you see the Starbucks coffee mock right behind the Tiki Bar mock for this video. So anybody feeling like to get their need to get their coffee fix on, stop into Starbucks. You can grab your coffee. Um, guys, this is going to be a quick haul. Um, this is a BrickLink, um, one BrickLink order. We had somebody that gave me a couple cool minifigs at work, so I'm going to show you those. And actually, they're cool because they're going to, um, torsos of those minifigs are going to help me build some of my additions to my uh, SigFig family. So that worked out really well. And then a Toys for More surprise at the end because I went to Toys for More right before I did this video. So let me start out with the brick link, brick link order, guys. A little bit tongue-tied tonight. Um, the first piece of that order is sitting right in front of you guys. So it's actually right there. So it's another tan base plate for the for some sand in the city. Um, I picked up this base plate here. I think I'm going to use that as a um, kind of a piece next to my uh, Starbucks mock there for the drive through because there's a drive through on the side there. So I'm going to run this up against the side there. And then just an additional... Uh, tan base plate you never know when you might need a filler for the tan for the beach so i got one of those all right i got a couple of these white bars uh for the umbrellas for the beach so a couple of those a couple two of those uh, a couple two heads here you got a sig fig head possible addition to the family here so i'm sure you guys out in youtube land know who this will be so that's going to be one of my newest additions and I got two heads of that. I got two of his head and then a hair piece, his hair piece there. So his hair accessory. This is uh, the bandana, the black bandana. So I got that. And then a pair of pants. And again, for that same sig fig. So I'm sure you guys already know who that is. So that was that. Guys, somebody brought me these into work. And I'm thinking they're vintage. I'm... Not 100% sure, but if anybody out there can uh, wants to comment on the uh, video and let me know. Um, they look pretty vintage to me, especially this, this blue guy. So let me know. He looks a little discolored, and the uh, the moon is not gold anymore. It actually is white. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a great picture and show you guys. If that's going to focus in for me here. But it is white. Um, they did, it did come with the, uh, backpack there. So, if anybody knows, I mean, if anybody knows there's a quick way to figure out if this is vintage or not, just, uh, comment it below and just let me know, because I'm not really up on these older, uh, older Lego minifigs. So, that was that, and then there was, they did come with, uh, 
two accessories too. There was this piece here that it came with, one of that. And then there was a walkie-talkie as well. There's a little walkie-talkie there. So that came with them. And then this one looks a little bit too good to be true because I, th I thought it might have been a re uh, issue. Or like, I don't know how that works with these old Space Classic guys. But this one looks, it actually looks really good. The gold on it is really like, is there. So I mean, it's really, oh gosh, you can crappy camera guys I apologize for this it doesn't seem like it really wants to focus tonight for me but the gold is really on this one you can really tell it's really there so a little backpack there so guys again if you guys know these figures and I know a lot of you guys do especially like Brixar and um uh Afo Man stuff like that I know you guys are big Benny fans so if you guys do know if how to tell if these are vintage or not please just comment below in the uh, section and I would appreciate it so that is those two guys I picked up and actually from a co-worker at work gave them to me knew i was in the lego knew i collected lego so they uh they they dropped them off of me for me today i said all right great thank you very much i will definitely add these to the collection all right guys and the last thing i picked up tonight i'm gonna go grab it now i just picked it up about 20 minutes ago i went to uh went to toys r us and my Toys R Us did have it, and I know Darth Hall is going to make fun of me for getting it. Because I told him last night on Facebook that I would not pick up any of the new sets because I was concentrating on my city. But I did have a 15% off coupon at Toys for More, so I went and picked up that bad boy right there. Had to do it, sorry Darth Hall, but I had to do it. I looked at all three of the sets, they had all three of them, and you cannot go wrong with Benny Spaceship, Spaceship, Spaceship. So, with the 15% coupon, and it is retail still, it is normal retail price, so it hasn't been marked up yet. So, And I do love the Wild Style uh, tracksuit on her minifig. It's pretty cool. It's a, uh, see if, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a really good picture of that, but it's the uh, Space tracksuit see if I can bring this up a little bit that did not work but it's pretty cool it's pretty sweet I don't have really good lighting down here guys again I apologize for the lighting down here but so that is it guys that is the uh, that's the big pickup for tonight again I had a coupon 15% off so I figured why not let's pick it up and I believe my next purchase is going to be the uh, fair fairground mixer the creator set but I'm going to wait till June 1st to get the uh free poly bag for 75 bucks so that is it guys that's my haul for tonight hopefully you guys enjoyed it um again like comment subscribe um between three and four subscribers away from 400 so open hit that magic number of 400 and get you guys a contest prize this weekend um good night guys and as always life is better with lego